The Shanbei were a proto-Mongolic people who descended from the Donghu Confederation in Manchuria. After many struggles against the Xiongnu Empire, the Xianbei managed to establish their own presence in Mongolia, even driving out the last of the Xiongnu near Lake Balkash. After the collapse of the Xianbei leadership, however, they split into many independent clans. Out of these, the Murong and Toba clans would branch out to write their own histories, establishing a number of dynasties in northern China following the collapse of the Han Dynasty. The primary religion of both the Shanbei and their Khitan relatives was Buddhism. Eventually, the Toba Shanbei unified northern China under the Northern Wei dynasty. However, the Toba legacy in northern China was eventually assimilated to Han Chinese culture with the rise of the Sui dynasty, while the Murong held on to a foothold called Tuihun in modern-day Qinghai. After the decline of the main two Shanbei clans, the closely related Khitan tribes remained in Inner Mongolia and Manchuria. Although they were often subjugated by the Tang dynasty or other foreign powers, they frequently rebelled and were able to maintain much autonomy and cultural integrity. Unlike the Shanbei, the Khitan left many traces of their language, and much of their surviving vocabulary closely resembles that of modern Mongolian. In the early 10th century, the Khitan clans came united under Abaoji, who greatly expanded Khitan territory and became the first emperor. The Khitan Empire was consolidated after successful conquest of eastern Manchuria and part of northern China. It was during this time that the Khitans developed their own writing system, which was based on Chinese characters. The Khitan culture in the empire remained mostly nomadic, though they engaged in extensive trade with the Chinese Song Dynasty and other neighbors. The empire was divided into two administrations and five circuits. The northern administration dealt with the nomadic tribal affairs, while the southern administration dealt with the Sinisai sedentary affairs. Each of the five circuits had its own capital. The emperors were taken from the Yelu clan, while their concerts were taken from the Xiao clan. Adopting many parts of Chinese culture, the Khitan Empire at times referred to themselves as the Liao Dynasty, referring to the Khitan homeland, the Liao River Valley. In the early 12th century, however, the Khitans were quickly defeated by the Jurchens from eastern Manchuria, who went on to establish the Jin Dynasty in northern China. The Khitans fled west and established the Karakitai state in Central Asia, where they would enjoy great success for a century until their defeat at the hands of the Mongols. Today, the Shanbei clan names survive in many Han Chinese families. The Khitans left some ethnic descendants as well, mostly of Mongol or Turkic lineage. These descendants include the Dai Khitai tribe of the Afghan Hazaras, the Barn and Dar Mongols in Inner Mongolia and Manchuria, and possibly the Kyrgyz. Furthermore, the name Khitan even became the basis for the name of China in many languages, namely Slavic and Turkic ones. For example, the word for China in Russian is Khitai.